acted upon by town meeting members. You are hereby directed to serve this call by posting attested copies thereof at the usual places. Hereof fail not and make return of this warrant with your doings thereon at the time and place of said meeting. Given under our hands this 5th day of October 2015, Elisa V. Brewer, Constance E. Kruger, Douglas W. Slaughter, James J. Wald, Select Board. Hampshire SS, October 6, 2015. In obedience to the within warrant, I have this day as directed posted true and attested copies thereof at the designated places. Thomas J. Sarna, Constable, Town of Amherst. Thank you. If there are any newly elected town meeting members who were not sworn in last spring, please rise and be sworn in. I believe there's at least one. There we go. Do you swear that you will faithfully and impartially perform the duties of town meeting member? Please answer, I do. Thank you and congratulations. A couple of finance committee appointments. Tim Neal has been appointed to the empty seat vacated by Doug Slaughter last spring. Anurag Sharma has been reappointed to a new three-year term. I would like, like to thank the current and new finance committee members for their service in the past and in the future. It is a tradition to remember former town meeting members who have passed away since the last town meeting. There is no comprehensive list of former members, so if I have forgotten someone, please let me know and I will remember them in a subsequent session. Since we met last spring, we have lost Norman Berlin, Charlie Moran, John Pistel, Arthur Quinton, and Patricia Wagner. This fall, we also lost our town manager, John Masanti. Mr. Masanti served town meeting and the citizens of Amherst with skill, dedication, and compassion, and he is sorely missed by all. Please rise if you are able, and let's have a moment of silence to remember our friends, neighbors, and public servants. Schedule review. If we go to a second session, it will be this coming Wednesday, November 4th. A third session, session, if needed, is scheduled for Monday, November 9th, and a fourth, if needed, for Monday, November 16th. Some reminders from the moderator. Um, the League of Women Voters and the Town Meeting Coordinating Committee provide four publications which are particularly useful to us and should be available at the back table if you don't already have a copy. They are Your Amherst Government, the Town Meeting Handbook, the zoning primer, and the They Represent You brochure, which lists all elected officials, including town meeting members, with addresses and phone numbers. In your first mailing, you received a packet of red and green tally vote cards. These cards might be needed in any of the sessions of town meeting this fall, so please remember to bring your cards with you to any future sessions. If you forgot to bring your tally cards, please go to a check-in table immediately to receive temporary cards. You must write your name and precinct number on each temporary card that is used. Tally vote cards without names will not be counted. Even though you don't need to pick up tally cards, please be sure to check in every night of town meeting. Seats on the floor of the auditorium may be occupied only by town meeting members except for the front row, which may be used by members of the press and by members of town committees and town staff participating in the presentation of discussion of articles. Such persons must wear non-voter stickers, which are available from the checkers at the entrance. The seats in the front row of the section in front of me can also be used by those who are on deck. If the next article is one that you will be presenting or expect to be questioned on, please come forward and sit in one of these seats before the vote on the current article. The seats in front of me on the right are occupied by the select board, the interim town manager, the finance director, the assistant to the town manager, and an IT staff person. The Finance Committee is seated to my left. Spectators and town residents who are not town meeting members may be seated in the bleachers in the rear of the auditorium. New information for town meeting members can be found on the back table to my left. Old information can be found on the back table to my right. Amherst Media provides gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of our proceedings on public access channel 17. I'd like to thank their staff and volunteers. 
Videos of town meeting sessions are replayed frequently and can also be viewed on the Amherst Media website. If you wish to speak, you must raise your hand and be recognized. When appropriate, please hold up a, gr a green or red card to indicate pro or con on the issue. When you are called on, please first state your name and precinct. If you forget, I will interrupt you and ask you to do so. If you need more than three minutes or more than five minutes when speaking to a motion, to your motion, you must request additional time before speaking and town meeting will vote on your request. If you are speaking from the floor, please speak into a microphone that will be provided once you are recognized. This will allow the viewers outside of the auditorium to hear you. The microphone will be on when it is handed to you. Please hold it close to your mouth when you speak. Non-members who wish to speak should stand at the rear of the right-hand aisle. Any registered voter of the town of Amherst who is recognized by the moderator may speak without special permission. Others may speak with the permission of a majority. Assisted listening devices are available for town meeting members at the soundboard in the back of the auditorium. If you are making an amendment to a motion, the amendment must be presented in writing with four copies submitted to the following people, town clerk, moderator, town manager and staff, and the chair of the finance committee. Copy machine is located at the end of the table to my right. This may be used to make copies of amendments. Procedural motions, such as a motion to refer or a motion to dismiss, do not need to be presented in writing. If you make any motion from the floor, it must be the first thing you do after you have been recognized and have identified yourself. You cannot speak first and then make a motion. If you've not already done so, please check your cell phone, make sure it is silenced or off. I will be reasonably strict on time limits and I will always try to call on people who have not yet spoken. If at any point in time you are confused about the proceedings, it is appropriate to call a point of order and ask for a clarification. Also, it's always okay to phone me, send me an email, or see me prior to town meeting if you need an explanation of any kind. I will not call on members by name, even if I know perfectly well who you are. I will stop speakers when your time is up and ask you to finish your current sentence. I will attempt to be consistent with all speakers and equally fair or unfair to all but I will be inclined to give some deference to board and committee members, petitioners, and town employees. You all received a consent calendar and a cover letter in your second mailing. The consent calendar is displayed before you, hopefully, or can be displayed before you. 